miles per hour. Tomorrow, I'd expect anywhere from zero to two inches of snow in the passes and eastern Washington. There's a chance of freezing fog in, I would say, Kittitas and Yakima counties. Now, for the game itself, dress warm, 26 to 29 degrees, cloudy, foggy, and even a chance of drizzle. As for the outcome of the game itself, I think we'll leave that up to Mr. Sylvie. But do dress warm. It's going to be chilly. Okay, Jeff, good advice. Well, some fans are gearing up in case the game becomes Snowball 2, a reference to the conditions in that 1992 Apple Cup. King 5's Owen Lay live now with a look at how folks plan to stay warm. Owen? Well, a lot of folks are already heading out to Pullman. Many more will leave Seattle tomorrow for the big battle on the gridiron this weekend. Now, it's kind of cold out here tonight, but as you heard from Jeff, you can imagine just how cold it will be in the stands on Saturday. There's something about decades of rivalry. Go WICO. I was raised a coup, but switched to the right side. Something driving Chester Thomas to shop during his break. It's the only time between now and tomorrow morning that I'll be able to grab a bunch of coup stuff to help decorate our RV. Something that has Travis Bird's friends driving cross state. Yeah, my whole fraternity's going. But mostly something that will have people sitting in this for hours. Yep, over in Pullman, Martin Stadium is looking, well, snowy. And Saturday's outlook doesn't look much better. You were hoping for Snowball 2. If it gets as cold as that 1992 game, everyone has their warm-up plan. Hand warmers, gloves, scarves. Probably hot chocolate. I had lots of uh, fleeces. There might be a little bit of beverage consumption. And here at the Columbia Sportswear in downtown Seattle, employees say they tend to sell more of whatever color the Huskies' opponent is wearing that week. And, of course, their suggestion is for people to stay warm using their new high-tech gear, which includes jackets and hats with a reflective lining, as well as boots with batteries built inside that heat up on their own. There's always the time-tested remedy also. Layers with one catch. You gotta keep the purple on the outside and layers of warm on the inside. They had black ones, but I had to go with the crimson and gray ones. Because bad weather or not, the rivalry will likely be more heated than anything else. And even for those on the way to the stadium, before you get to Pullman, the state DOT is warning drivers to expect